Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Statistics. In this video I want to show you how to make a nonlinear peer and pylon analysis including the stresses of the construction stage. Here for a peer and here for a pylon on a bridge. At first I want to show you why it is so easy on quad elements. We have here our example of a simple quad beam and we see the stresses in every individual layer. And these strains and stresses are, and damage parameters are stored for every layer and for every reinforcement. Let's have a closer look to this example. We have a linear load case. When we double click we see a linear stress in our quad element. In the next load case we have a nonlinear result and in the further load case we increase the load and get another stress distribution. If we look to the input we see the linear load case, the first nonlinear load case and the second nonlinear load case with a higher load but we use the load case 2 as a primary load case for this load case 3. So the damage parameters that have been calculated in load case 2 are transferred to load case 3. So with this technique of nonlinear primary load cases, we can also calculate a complete structure also in a time step analysis where we take the damage parameters from one time step to the next time step. Also here on this single beam we can calculate a correct time step analysis using primary load cases. So this works fine on quad elements, but why is it not so easy on beam elements? Because on quad elements we store the damage parameters and the situation of the correct element in every layer and reinforcement and this would also be necessary in a section. And if we have a BXL banding that would mean that we must store all strains, stresses and damage parameters in every voxel of our section. And of course that is very problematic. So with the actual program we can only calculate a single load case with different load steps but without a primary load case technique. So the only way we can offer in the actual program state is to use a material linear primary load case and then you can make one step with a nonlinear cracked beam. Maybe you have an analyze with a construction stage manager usually in a linear way or with TH3 but material linear and you use the last step of the construction stage manager 4035 as a primary load case and continue now with a nonlinear cracked beam analysis. This I now want to show you on two examples. The first example is a pre-stressed bridge with a high peer. We first look to the result of the CSM. We freeze the animation with a constant magnitude of maybe 17. We switch off the colored results. The next step is the superstructure dead load. Then we pre-stress the superstructure, creep and shrinkage, additional dead load and creep and shrinkage steps. This state we now want to use for a nonlinear peer analysis. Therefore I have prepared the load cases 101. You see from here to 101 there is no difference, it is just only a copy. Then we increase the dead load to factor 1.35, then we add a traffic load, then we add an oblique 
pre-deformation, then we add additional wind loading, and then we analyze the correct analysis of the beam. We see in every step the deformation gets higher, and so it is a good idea to separate these effects in different load cases. Now let's have a look to the input. We have a normal CSM run with a linear analysis, dead load pre-stress and so on. The last step is 36, as we have two creep steps. Now we can use this primary load case 4036 to make a load case 101. If we apply the same loading, dead load, additional dead load and pre-stress, the load case 101 will just only be a copy of this load case, but it contains the possible restrained bending moments of the erection sequence. In the next step we use this primary load case and increase the factor of dead load. In the next step we add our traffic loading with this state 103. Maybe we can make a buckling analysis of this stress state. <clears throat> In the next step we also use 101 as a primary load case and add an oblique stress-free pre-deformation. In the next step we just only add the wind loading and now comes the interesting part of the nonlinear calculation. We use the material linear primary load case 101 and now add one step with nonlinear stress analysis using this calculatoric work law including safety factor. We apply all effects that we had applied before and calculate our load case 106, correct 1.35 loading, traffic, pre-deformation and wind. At the end we can make a plot of the nonlinear stresses with PROC results. If we look to this plot we see here the stresses in the section or we can also use the interactive result viewer where we select the results of cross-section AQB axial stresses. Okay, and we see here the nonlinear parable of the concrete compression and a little cracking in our section in the beam element number 9004. The next example is a bigger bridge with pylons. You find this example PLC on CSM cracked in the RZDAT folder nonlinear beams. We have this system. If we look to the construction stages, it is just a normal cable state bridge with erection sequences. At the end of the erection sequence, we may have this system under additional dead load. Without optimization, but that is not a problem here. Now we again use this primary state for our nonlinear analysis. Again, load case 101 is just only a copy. In 102, we increase the dead load. As the pre-stress of the cables is not increased, we get a big deformation due to this. So I reduce the magnitude to 22 a little bit. The next step is an additional pre-deformation to the global Y direction. Then we add the wind loading again and we have our nonlinear cracked analysis. The input is nearly the same as in the first example. I only want to point out that you can use the groups from CSM linear and we choose that only group 1 and 2, that are the two pylons, shall be calculated nonlinear. 
At the end we can also make a plot of the stresses and we see here the stresses in our pylon that was a circular section and we see that it is really correct. Conclusion. So you cannot use a nonlinear primary load case for a beam analysis, but you can use a material linear primary load case and then you can make one single nonlinear load case in ASE. So thanks for listening and goodbye.